Hello from the Brucia studio. It's Wednesday and what we do every other Wednesday is we do live streams. And we actually happen to do one today, so I thought I would show you the setup. And yeah, it's nothing special, but maybe you'll find it interesting. This is my, my stream then. So I have three screens and my laptop. This is the the main screen. This is where <laughs> this is really trippy. <laughs> where uh, I have the Zoom call. So this is where I see Joe and Matt and whoever our guest is. On the right, that's probably the most important screen. Uh, this is where OBS is running. That's the streaming software that we use. And yeah, basically on the left, I have like a prepare screen, so uh, you see everything that's uh, on the right. This is live, but in the meantime, I can switch whatever scene I want next on the left. So uh, yeah, normally I just start with the with the countdown. I have a little script that counts down the time, and I can adjust that whenever I need to. And yeah, I would just prepare the intro scene and I do a transition that starts the intro and I will prepare the video call and once the intro is over, I will just transition into us talking. Uh, in the video call, I also have some, uh, you know, fun stuff that I can overlay, uh, some uh, text boxes and yeah, whatever I need to display, I can just uh, enable it here and I can transition it into the live stream. So yeah, this is, <laughs> if this crashes, the whole stream would end. So let's hope that will not happen. Uh, so this is OBS, this is a Zoom video call and then on the left here I have uh, Slack, uh, that's the our internal chat, so if something my colleagues want to tell me something, they can do it over here. And here I have a YouTube live chat. So if you leave a comment during the stream, I can see it here. Uh, sometimes I even reply during the stream, but it's a little bit, a lot to manage, you know, have a conversation, check on the stream, also read this. So sometimes I miss something, but I try, try to go back when someone else is talking and read through all of the comments. The laptop is kind of important too. Uh, this is what I use for uh, sharing the screen. So I don't do anything on these three screens like when I show Prusa Slicer. I do that on my laptop. And I have this super cool mouse from Logitech, which has this button on top. And if you look, I now have cursor on this PC, but when I press the button, uh, it basically switches to Bluetooth and I can now move the mouse here on my laptop. So I have just one mouse and with a click of a button I can switch between the two of them, which is really nice. That's really, really helpful. Uh, the video on the, on the screen is coming from this GH5 uh, and it has, oh, well, a uh, Sennheiser a uh, boom microphone, basically this is a directional microphone, it captures mainly, mainly the audio in front of it, not, not behind it, not that there's any noise, thanks to these awesome sound, soundproofing panels, there's no echo in here, I, I love the sound in the studio. Uh, yeah, so the sound from this microphone goes through the XLR cable right here into uh, zoom H6. Uh, I use it as audio interface and yeah, basically here I can really easily uh, manage the loudness. I think the microphone is off right now. If I turn it on, la -la -la, we should see the audio going up and down. It's a little bit quiet, so I will increase it. Oh, it's channel 4. Yeah, but that's my audio setup and this goes just uh, the interface works well, we are USB. So this is really nice. I like that it's it has, uh, you know, it's hardware knob. So 
it makes it really easy to adjust. You don't have to click through any menus. Uh, the video, the GH5 has full size HDMI out, which, oh my God, let me tell you how awesome it is to have full size HDMI because the I hate micro HDMI. It's so flimsy. I always worry that I will break it. And that goes into uh, this capture card. This goes to the PC uh, via USB-C. So this takes the HDMI from the camera, USB-C comes out, that goes into the PC, and that basically uh, shows up as a as a webcam on the in Zoom or any yeah video call app uh, that we need. Uh, here I have some props behind me if I need to show some prints. Uh, I usually just leave them here on the side. I have the two new awesome Prusaments in here. This is the uh, Oh My Gold and Vivala Bronze. They are super shiny. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, I also have this hilarious uh, Christmas Joe thingy. <laughs> it's so funny. And yes, we will be... Oh, actually, speaking of here, there's another microphone. Uh, this is a Rode mic. It's so awesome, and that's what it, we use for voiceovers, for videos normally. But for the stream, I don't really want to have microphone in, in front of me. Plus, like, the audio quality from this is fine for video calling. It's more than enough. This is really for more of a, uh, you know, specific audio recording of voice for the further video. So it's, it's nice to have it. And that also goes... Uh, to other channel on the zoom so technically I could have both on and I could just switch between them uh, Yes, so that is that we will also be talking about uh, the super pinda probe the new satin steel sheets which I've been lucky to play with for quite a while and let me tell you it's pretty pretty freaking awesome Oh, yeah, here are the two 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 new Prusament spools, and yes, I think that's that is pretty much it. It's, I mean, it's kind of simple, but at the same time, you know, getting this all to work really nicely was a little bit of a pain. So I'm really glad I got it figured out. It's, I would say, pretty reliable right now and kind of easily manageable. Oh yeah, it just reminds me one thing I have not shown you. As yes, I'm using this Adlecrone 3D printable flex tilt head. And that's kinda nice to get the camera really right on top of the screen. Because if it's way too high, it looks you know kinda weird when you're looking at the screen. So it's nice to get the lens as close or like as low as possible. Obviously you cannot put it behind the screen. So uh, yeah, the, the 3D printed flex tilt head is working pretty nicely for me. And yes, I guess I will see you live in the in the Prusa live stream. Oh my God, it's so many <laughs> Mikolasses everywhere. This is so strange. Okay, well, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you maybe want to stream, I'll be uh, glad to, to help out. And yes, that is it. See you next time.